your very friend, Larise. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. Quid pro quo, Doc. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Yes. Big through the hips, Romy? They all were. What else? She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Now, that hasn't been made public yet. We don't know what it means. Was it a butterfly? Yes, a moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is change. Caterpillar into chrysalis or pupa, and from thence into beauty. Our belly wants to change too. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Clever girl. You're so close to the way you're gonna catch him. Do you realize that? No, tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? I don't imagine the answer is on those secondary shoes, Clarice. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. They had a ranch. Was it a cattle ranch? Sheep and horses. How long did you live there? Two months. Why so briefly? I ran away. Why, Clarice? Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? No. He was a very decent man. Quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. And you said that I was very close to the way we would catch him. What did you mean, doctor? There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. Johns Hopkins, the University of Minnesota, and Columbus Medical Center. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment at one or all of them and been rejected. On what basis would they reject him? Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Billy hates his own identity, you see, and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times more savage and more terrifying. 